Hi, my name is Brian and I'm the 3D print creator. Now, the printer you see working over here, that's the Dutchie. Uh, it's a printer made in the Netherlands and it's aimed for schools. And I already made a first preview video about this printer, uh, where I told why this is a special printer and well, what's so unique about this. This printer is made that it's rock solid. Uh, it's made out of steel and uh, well everything you see is very very sturdy so uh, this arm for example well while the printer is busy i can bounce to it i can hit the bed i can do all kind of crazy things well this printer is so sturdy that it doesn't really matter uh, in fact i can lift up the printer if i want to and i'll show you in this video now there is another thing in this printer that I really like and that is that this printer is a direct driven printer which means that the extruder is right over here. Here at this spot uh, the extruder is directly on top uh, of the nozzle and this means that this printer is capable of printing all kinds of materials and it can do so with ease. Now when I received this printer I uh, received it with a brass nozzle and with a brass nozzle well it can print all kinds of soft filaments but it's not there for, for the really abrasive filaments so I changed the nozzle to a full steel one and uh, now it's capable of printing filaments that have carbon fibers in them or steel or wood or any kind of well it's not really contamination but those are hard materials that are melted inside the filament and well this printer is capable of printing all of them as well as printing very flexible filaments or printing filaments that can be challenging like PATG or for example uh, nylon. Now I have to give this printer a fair comparison but this is something which is pretty difficult because I have to compare it with my other printers but then I realized that I don't use my other printers that much for challenging filaments. Uh, every time I have to print a challenging filament, like PATG, nylon, or filaments that are infused with something uh, well, that make them very hard or very sturdy or just nice to look at, I go back to this printer. Now also notice that this printer is extremely silent. Uh, the camera and microphone is directly on top of that camera which means that well this printer is in the middle between me and the camera and well I think you can hear the printer but it isn't that loud which is something I really like now of course you can see by this video and by the previous video that I made that I really like this printer but there is also something that I didn't like on this printer and well this is the push fitting that they use uh, this push fitting is something well it's not that good uh, I've replaced it for another one and the reason is well it didn't hold to the tube now bear in mind that this tube is not a normal PTFE tube that normal printers use because uh, there is no uh, extruder on a different place so uh, there isn't any force on this tube but nevertheless I would love to have this tube being held in place very good and this is something well I had to replace now this is my only complaint about this printer because it was the only part I had to replace and therefore I think it's a good printer now to all good things comes an end and uh, therefore this printer has to go back to Dutchie uh, because it's a loner and I have to give it back and uh, well then uh, they can make someone else happy and this one is going to a school now what do I think about this printer what's my final verdict about this one I think it's one of the best printers I ever had in my studio I say one of the best in fact I'm sure it's it's the best printer I ever had in the studio uh, it's a very capable printer that can print all kind of materials that I tried. Uh, I started with PLA, then go to uh, P PATG. Uh, Engine it works flawlessly on this printer, uh, but also ABS, uh, even some nylons work great on this printer. 
and uh, well also the uh, infused filaments like for example carbon infused filaments or metal infused filaments they work perfectly well on this printer uh, I've tried some flexible things and well everything just works flawless now does this mean that everything on this printer is perfect well no not everything uh, there is one thing which I had to replace because it didn't uh, work that well and that was this coupling uh, this coupling holds the uh, flexible tube that is here and uh, well this coupling uh, gave me some problems and didn't hold the, uh, the plastic tube now bear with me this is not a PTFE tube and it's not uh, pressurized so it's not like uh, on, on printers that have a Bowden style extruder that there is pressure on this tube uh, because well it's a direct driven printer and well the extruder is over here uh, therefore, because it's not a pressurized tube, I think it's even more silly that this one came loose and that the tube came out of the, yeah, of the socket. And uh, I just replaced it. It's, it's a one dollar part. I mean, it's nothing to really complain about. But this is my complaint about this printer, because there were no other flaws with this machine. Now, when you receive the printer from Dutchy 3D, uh, it comes with a magnetic bed, uh, a bed like this one. And well, let's peel it off and let's get the parts of it. And well, as you can see, I can just take them off. Uh, I also have to remove that brim and there it is, everything removed. And now I can just put it in place again, like so. And everything is good to go and we can start printing again now this printer doesn't have any bed leveling functions uh, the only function there is is a small knob here on the back of the printer where you can set the height of the nozzle uh, for well for the first print so it's the Z height stop and uh, this is the only thing that you can set on this printer because this bed is made completely flat they uh, they yeah they used a special uh, method to completely flatten the bed and everything on this printer is in the perfect angle so uh, you, you're not able to uh, to dial in uh, levels because there is no need to dial in levels everything is on the perfect angle and everything is very very sturdy because this printer really is rock solid um, it, it's something you can hit you can uh, do whatever you like with it and well it will perform as as if you didn't do anything to it now as you saw in this video it's a very silent printer uh, you can barely hear it uh, it's also a very uh, well a nice printer to watch so uh, if you have a small space on your desk which you can use for a 3d printer uh, for example when you're a designer and uh, you do uh, some rapid prototyping and you also uh, have some visitors coming around then this is a great printer to have on your desk so people see what you are doing um, and in school environments, well, I think this is the best printer you can have in a school environment. Now, this brings me to the second thing of this printer, where I have my doubts. Um, and this is for normal users, so no school owners, no uh, small office owners, but just you and me, people who are at home and uh, well, want to have a nice 3D printer. This is a very, very expensive 3D printer. It's 1500 euros uh, or something like that, depending on what type of, of extras you get. Uh, for example, this printer is the Pro version, which has two cooling fans and uh, it makes it more expensive. Uh, also, uh, you can get this with uh, another type of extruder if you like to, and it, it makes it more expensive. And, and that's the thing where I say, well, it, it's a pretty expensive printer. Uh, you can get much cheaper printers, which are also very nice to have on your desk. And uh, they are a lot and lots and lots cheaper. Then again, I never saw a printer that works as flawless as this one. 
uh, I never saw another printer that didn't have any leveling functions. I never saw uh, any other printer that was completely made out of steel uh, with high wing rails and uh, everything is, yeah, it's just built as a rock and I never seen that on any other 3D printer. So if this is something you need, for example in a school, then well, this is your printer. This is uh, the only printer that is capable of, of yeah, being abused that much uh, in that type of environment. So I do love this printer. I think it's the best printer I ever had. And uh, well, it's very difficult to make a fair comparison to my other printers because I did things on this printer, well, my other printers weren't even capable of doing them, uh, like printing with uh, very abrasive filaments, like printing with nylon, uh, like that kind of things. And, and, well, the other printers just weren't capable of doing so. And therefore I can say this is the, the very, very best printer I ever used in my studio. Now, if you are interested in a Dutchy 3D printer, uh, you can contact Dutchy 3D directly via their website or their email. Uh, the link is in the description down below. Uh, if you want me to, uh, well, to, to bring you in contact with them, it's also possible. And uh, of course, uh, I also do lectures about 3D printing. And uh, well, if you are interested in what this printer can mean for you in your school environment, uh, well, I'm more than willing to help you with that. Uh, but of course, you can also contact Dutchy 3D directly. Um, yeah, I think it's a great printer. It's uh, yeah, very much value for the money. Although I know it's a very expensive printer, but I just don't know of any, any other printer um, that is as sturdy as this one and therefore can be abused as this one. Uh, on the market. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also make sure you are subscribed to my channel and uh, well hit that bell notification as well because then you will be notified every time I make a new video. This is it. Thanks for watching and uh, well let's see each other next time. Bye bye.